Hey guys, welcome to part two. So you saw me cook my beans. Now we're gonna preserve them because um, we can't eat this whole pot just by ourselves. So uh, some of us can't. So uh, we're gonna pressure can them and I'm gonna walk you step by step how to do it. Now I've pressure canned things before, but I've never pressure canned my cowboy beans. So this will be a first for me. Um, so if you see me doing something wrong, please let us know in the comments so that I can uh, make sure I do it right the first time or the next time. And uh, here we go. All right, so first thing, um, my pressure canner, uh, you do want to warm the jars up. They're not boiling, but they are warm. You never want to put a, a hot liquid, the beans, into a cold jar. Um, it'll cause the jars to crack. But at the same time, you don't want to boil them. So they're, they're warm to touch, but they're not hot. So they've been sitting, the water's warm, and dump all out. And I always use more jars than what I need, or I always heat up more than I need, just in case. All right, so take a jar. I got a little funnel, I'll try to keep stuff off the rim. And basically fill your jars up. Um, you want to leave about an inch of headspace, they call it. So right about to the rim, I'm going to leave them a little bit lower because I'm not sure how much I'm going to have left and I might need to put a little bit in each one. So about an inch, inch and a half. So an inch and an inch and a half from the top of the jar. Interesting to see how many actual jars are getting there. So I got, out of all that that I made, if you watch the last video, you can see how many cans of beans and stuff I use. But I got five quart jars. Um, so it's an okay amount. Um, this will last us maybe a month. <laughs> so next step, um, you want to make sure the tops are completely clean. You don't want anything on there. So I just have a wet paper towel. Make sure there's no sauce or anything on the rims. All right, so the rims are clean. And then last step, a little bit of um, vinegar, plain white vinegar. So you just wipe the rim off? Yep. The white, just, white vinegar? Just wipe the rims with white vinegar. That makes sure you know you get a good, clean seal. done and then so the tops you don't want to boil them but I keep them in a little bit of warm water just to make sure that seal is nice and soft put your tops on and these everything's been washed soapy water rinsed so everything's been clean and that's warm water in that pot just warm not boiling just just warm water basically warm water from the sink just to keep the the seals warm so once those are on Make sure they're centered good and put your rims on and finger tight. You don't want to like crank down on them because as they seal, you want that, that air to come out of that. So 
so we're ready to put in the canner. You want about two inches or so of water in the pot. You never want to do empty. And I can fit all five in here, but we're eating one for dinner, so I'm not gonna seal one of them. That's right. Cowboy beans for me tonight. All right, so. Mine is the pot that spins. Some of them have the, the lock nut one. So we're gonna put it on and we're gonna turn the heat up. And we're gonna wait for the steam to come out of this vent that's nice straight steam. And then once that steam's coming out solid, then we will put our um, knob on and then we bring it up to pressure. All right, so good steady streams coming out from there. I don't know if you can see it too well. There's a steady stream of steam coming out. Um, so I'm gonna put the weight on it and then I'm gonna watch my pressure. It's gonna take a few minutes. Um, we want it to get 10 pounds of pressure, which is right up in the middle. So you're gonna have to kind of play with the heat. I've never done it on my gas stove, so this is a learning curve for me too. So the little pin in the back went all the way up, so now it's gonna start building pressure in there. All right, so we're just about to 10 pounds. Um, once we get past that 10, I'm gonna start my hour and a half timer, so 90 minutes and any, you don't want it to drop past 10, so you kind of have to adjust your heat up and down to keep it level where it needs to stay. All right, so once you reach an hour and a half, you shut the stove off and let the gauge drop to zero. All right, so it's down to zero, so now we're gonna pop the top off and check the jars out. So you leave that off and that settles down, then you can open it. You can always lift it away from you because it's gonna be hot coming out. All right, so now we got the top off, we're gonna leave them set here so they can cool down a little bit for 10, 15 minutes and then we'll take them out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take them out now. So when you take them out, just make sure you don't bang them on the side or the other jars. And you want to set them on a towel on the counter because you don't want to set them on a cool, a cold surface because it'll crack the jars. Sorry about the noise in the background. All right, guys, so that's it. That's beans, cans, and they'll stay for probably a year or more in these cans. Of course, they're not gonna stay that long in this house, but- uh, I imagine they last a lot longer yeah. than a year. Recommended time is usually a year, but you leave them sit here for a minimum of 12 hours and you'll start to hear the little tops, it'll pop. It means they sealed down. Um, so by tomorrow night, same time, if they don't seal down for some reason, you don't hear that pop and when you hit the top of it, it'll, it'll be solid. Um, then you just have to eat them. So you just put them in the fridge and you eat them. So if they didn't seal right, they're still good. You just have to eat them sooner. But make sure you always label your jar what's in there and the date. All right, everybody. So it's the next day and uh, I just want to show you that the lids all, as you can tell, there's no... They don't pop, they're all solid on top. So every one of the lids sealed. And for example, this is one that we opened and uh, we we were eating it, you know, for dinner last night. It, we never really pressure canned it, but I just kind of wanted to show you the difference in the noise on the top. You hear how it pops. That's what it'll do when these, uh, the lids are actually sealing down after you get done pressure canning them and they, they uh, cool down. But if it's not, then you know it didn't seal right. The lid will be popped up. 
All right, everybody. So that's going to wrap it up for this video series. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, if y'all want to see us do some more content like this, leave me comments in below. And uh, maybe I can sweet talk my wife into doing some more videos when she does a better job than I do. <laughs> you know, we had fun doing this videos, And sorry we didn't get it out a little quicker than we did. You know, we've been promising everybody. And uh, we finally got around to doing it. So big shout out to my wife for helping me out. You know, she's a big help. And uh, I really enjoyed doing some video with her. And uh She's done several types of can and, you know, she's done pickles and peaches and cherries and, and all kinds of different stuff, you know, regular vegetables and everything. And she's got a couple that are really good. You know, she likes to do jellies and jams. That's kind of her specialty. So I'm telling y'all, if y'all want to see that kind of content, let me know. And like I said, I'll try to sweet talk her into doing it. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoy and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye y'all.